This is your wife. She's your wife for goodness sake. And what is your concern? How dare you walk into my house with your filthy legs to tell me how to treat my wife? How? Now you listen to me. Before the count of five, turn around and get out of my house. Please now! Please don't go. He will kill me. He will kill me, please. He will kill me. Will... Alice, get out of my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rubbish. Look at this nonentity. Huh? Huh? You're a plenty good guy, right? Yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. Come in and teach me how to treat my wife. Oh, shit. How do I go to work right now? Kimberly, come and wash his clothes. I'm sorry, you know I didn't sleep early yesterday. I slept very late, almost until morning. He didn't sleep early yesterday. He slept almost this morning. Meaning what? Oh, because you walked into the night. You not feel you can sleep into the day. Indirectly, you are telling me that I am overworking you. Is that? Auntie, I'm sorry. Give me a phone. No, oh, please shut your mouth up. Just shut that trap. Now listen, even if you sleep by 5 a.m. this morning, you must wake up by 6 a.m. in this house. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now get up. Go make me something to eat. Get up! Go make me something to eat! Don't get me started this morning. What is wrong with you? Get out! Fool. How can people be this wicked? Hmm? It's good to be good to people, no? This woman is so heartless. How could she do this? It is good to be good to people. Why would she be treating this? Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Just imagine. Eh? Look at, look at, Auntie, your juices. Look at, come back here, you little rat. How many times have I warned you never to serve me like this? I'm sorry, ma. Don't you know what to do? I'm sorry, ma. Come carry the other one. 
food. Did you wash the glass very well? Yes, ma'am. You rinsed it? Yes, ma'am. Did you check the sparring date? Yes, ma'am. Tell me. Uh, June next year, he's still very okay. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Did you sit very okay? So, meaning you, you drunk? No, ma. Just check. I feel like hitting this woman. How could she be this wicked? Look at what she's doing to this boy. Oh, God. Auntie, please, can I go? Are you alright? Come on, be stubborn. You are welcome. Thank you, Amy. Hi. Thank you. So please sit. Emeza, <laughs> honestly, I never believed I can see you again. So you're back to the country? Of course I am here. I had to. My husband insisted on it. You know, he has not been doing too well. His health is not getting any better. Oh. So he wants me to come stay with him, at least for some time. It's a pity to hear this. God will heal him. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. And your son? Ah. Oh. That one is a big boy now. He's grown. Max is grown. I can imagine. You know, Amelda, I never do believe I can see you again in this life. Ada, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. <laughs> um, food will soon be ready. Let me get you something to drink. No problem. Um, come, Billy. Come, Billy. Auntie. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. This is your niece. Yes. Oh my goodness. She's all grown now. I'm beautiful. <laughs> oh my world. Thank you. Do you remember me? Uh, answer the question. Calm down. Um, yes, yes, ma. You're so grown. I can't believe it. She's so beautiful. How are you? I'm fine. Get her something to drink. All right. You mean she has been living with you all this while? My dear. Is that you never came back for her? Which father? That useless one. Oh. Since my half sister passed and abandoned her with me, I have never set my eyes on that me compo. Uh -oh. I've been the one catering for her. She just finished her secondary school, say, two years, three years ago. I'm still gathering money to send her to the university. <laughs> She's beautiful. She look at you. She's humble. Hey, my family is humble. But you know this Jay-Z generation with their own head up. Today she's normal, the next day she's off. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. People have their wireless. Fine, girl. Yeah. Thank you, fine girl. Cheers to love life. And the reunion. Amen. Cheers. A good nobody is perfect. You know what I'm saying? She's old enough to get married. No. Is she not well over 20, I guess? Well, she's 21, but you know the word. Education is the key. I need to give her a fighting chance. Okay. She has to get a backup to face the streets someday. So she won't just leave the house like that. She has to be well later before getting married. I get your point. Mm. <laughs> so let's change the topic a bit. Mm. How is life to be treating you? My dear, contract has not been good. We've just been here or there doing one thing or the other to you know meet ends mate. 
the country is not everywhere. Oh, yeah. Nowhere back. is perfect. Everywhere has its headache. You see how gorgeous and fresh you're looking. Come to Nigeria and stay with us. I bet you two weeks you will run. Yeah, here yeah, you're looking this fresh. <laughs> you will not understand. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? <laughs> Are you alright? How many times will I tell you not to bring this fan here? So you took this fan again? Auntie, I'm sorry. Eh? Auntie, I'm sorry. How many times will I warn you never to touch this fan? What happened to this? It got burnt. It got burnt. And you cannot repair it. What have you been doing with all the balance you are holding? You think I don't know you don't give me my balance when I send you an Ankara? No, Auntie, I don't have any money with me. I'm you not with any of money, money with you. Not just that you took the fan. You owned it. And you are burning my unit. Do you know how much I recharge all the time? Do I talk money from trees? I'm sorry, Auntie. You are sorry. Have you taken your breath? Yes, I've, I've, I've taken my shower and I've cleaned everywhere the way you like it. Really? So you are relaxing with my energy? You are relaxing with my light? This is so Listen, this is me. I am going to send you outside. During the night, you will sleep outside so that the breeze will deal with you. When the breeze dealt with you, if you see fun anywhere, if you see breeze, you will run. Now get off. Out! Get off! Get off! I couldn't believe really my husband could do that. Yes, I know Mars can be responsible. But for a man to do that to his own child, that is quite unfair. Terribly unfair. Sorry for your loss once again. But is there nothing the lawyer can do to undo the terms of the will? I wish they could. The only condition there is, Mas gets married as soon as possible. Else he loses everything to his half sister. Can you imagine that, man? That wouldn't be a problem. Max is no longer a baby, so he can get someone to get married to. Max is for weeks now, he has not been able to find anybody responsible. He keeps bringing all these rotten girls to the house. One even said we'll have to give her half of the wealth. She meant Yes, half of the inheritance. You know, even his friend, his best friend, turned down his proposal. She said she's not going to marry Max. Even I begged her to just stick by him for two years. At least after he must have gotten his inheritance. But she refused. So what will you do now? Ego, I'm in a serious dilemma. Max needs to marry as quickly as possible. What exactly does the clause say? The clause says Max must remain married for two years. He gets half of the inheritance for the first year and another half for the second year. So he must be married for two years before he gets anything. That won't be a problem. Meaning that any lady he gets married to will stay for two years non-stop. Then he can't do it. So how does he do that? With all these greedy girls out there? Come on. There's no good woman available. That is the point. Auntie, welcome. Uh, food is ready. How are you dust? Can't you see I'm discussing? Set the table. How about her? How about who? Come in now. Oh, please, Imelda, don't get me started. Can't you see she's the only one here to take care of me? I'm not getting any younger. Besides, I, 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 I will. I will pay handsomely for, for her. Trust me. Emelda, Kambili is the only family I have left. I want to send her to school. Please. Besides, she's still young. I can push her to that. You said she's only one? Yes. So she's not too young. Oh, please. Three million. I pay three million for Kambili. Hmm. You're joking. How can I be joking over a serious matter like this? I just told you the dilemma I mean to. Why her? 
you could find someone else. There is no better girl out there. If I had a choice, I wouldn't have come crying to you. Calmly loose, quiet, respectful. She's humble. At least you have taught her some of this teaching chores. I shouldn't want to go with my son's wealth. So there's no point going through the stress of signing a prenup. Unlike this other rotten eggs out there that are so greedy to the teeth. You know, I am happy you raised Kambili well. My son needs a level-headed girl like Kambili. A girl that will be at his beck and call. She'll be there to take care of him. She will not argue with him nor talk back at him. And that is the whole thing I see in Kambili. She's the only one for my son. Trust me. Five million. Here you go. I'll take five million for Kambili. That's way too much. Three would have been fine. Five million or no deal. Okay, fine. Huh? I'll pay. As Are long you as serious? I, yes, I am more than serious. As long as I get what I want. I know, I, I just said five million. Like five. I'm dead serious. I'll pay. Then we have a deal. You sure. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Kambili, are you done setting the table? Yes. Oh, come, let's go and eat. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. Auntie, Kambili, my lovely girl. Auntie, you're too very How are you today? I'm fine, Well, I went shopping. I got to. Thank you so much. I also want to discuss something with you. Mm. You know, I've been the one taking care of you since your mom passed. And now you're a grown woman. Grown and good enough for plugging, like our people would say. <laughs> so, on that note, I found you a husband, a handsome, rich husband that will take care of you and me. You know, as your mother, I am the only family you have left. You ought to take care of me someday. So we need someone rich. <laughs> I. How about my education? Oh, come be. You are so naive. Okay, let me enlighten you. Huh? When you marry rich, education is by the way. There's nothing. All you need to do is to be a good wife and everything will flow like a river. You'll be as free as bird. I don't want to marry now. Sincerely speaking, I would want to further my education. Please. I'm sorry you don't have a choice on this. Because your bright prize, everything is settled. Yes. See, you're not going to live in my house forever. You have to start up your own life. Stay in your own house. Your comfort zone. That's the only way you can take care of me. And that is why I got a rich husband for you who will take care of you and I forever. So, you check if those fit. Hmm? I know it will fit under your size. I've been buying your clothes for so long, so... <laughs> I'll be in my room. Thank you, Auntie. Why need to be in my room? Don't forget to fit those. Tears never dry from my eyes. I mean, uh, smile never gone my face. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Yeah. Tears never dry from my eyes. I mean, uh, smile never gone my face. So when is that day? <laughs> Lovely house you have here. Thank you. Actually, it's not my house. Hmm. It's my son's house. 
I brought you here because it's closer and I want you to meet Max. You know he's a very busy boy. Uh, that's him, right? Yes, that's so him. The last time I met him, he was a little quiet boy. <laughs> Max is no longer that little and quiet boy you used to know. He is now a full-grown man. You can see. <laughs> I'm quite so handsome. Cute. Yes, I love that. <laughs> that should be Max. Of course, that's Max. Oh, my love. Uh, Mom. How are you? I'm fine, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Look at my mom, looking so beautiful. Eh? Thank you. I actually <laughs> came with my friend. That's Ego. She used to come around then when you were much younger. She's my friend. Uh, for real? Ego, that's Max. How are you, Max? I'm doing fine. Uh, ego. Ego, right? Yeah, I'm good. That didn't come out well. Why would I dress her by her name? What happens to your respect? She is your elder. I dress her with some respect. Ma That's rude. Mother, not again. What is it with Africans and unnecessary titles? Okay, if you want me to tell you that again, I'll do it again. Okay? All right. Um, I'm fine, ma'am. Yeah, I'm good. Good day, my boy. How have you been? Splendid, as you can see. She's the aunt of the young lady I told you about. Oh, the young lady you're forcing me to get married to? Oh, really? Young man, watch your tongue. If you had gotten yourself a wife, a decent one, apart from those rotten eggs you were throwing at me, I would not have been stressing myself to go get you a wife. It's fine, Mom. You don't have to rub it in. I'll keep rubbing it in until you have some sense in your head. Um, my mother, it's enough. Um, listen, Max. My niece is a very decent, lovely girl. I'm sure you will love her when you see her. And she's very tolerant. Mm, I hope so. So, when will you be coming to see her? See her? Didn't my mom tell you I'm a very busy gentleman? Hmm? Mom, you didn't tell her? Yes. Anyway, it's okay. Uh, my mom will handle that smart contract, okay? I have bigger contract that keeps me busy. Yes. Um, I am handling everything. You know, Max here is very busy handling the family's company. You know, since the father is no longer with us, hmm. I'll handle everything. I'll make sure you're fine and your niece is fine. And the traditional? Um, set the date for the court wedding and I'll let you know. Absolutely. Mm. It's all good. Uh, mother, if you don't mind, I want to go in there and, and freshen up. Okay? Yes, please. You're welcome once more, Igu. Oh, sorry, my bad. Mama. And talking about tradition is as obsolete as the word obsolete. You know, there may not be time for that traditional marriage ceremony. You don't have such time. It will just be for the bride price. Oh. And we'll head to the court for the court wedding. I understand. Thank you for your understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will pay you the balance of your money once they get married. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. If anyone had told me that Kambili will bring me good fortune, I'll say it's a lie. But look at me, drinking champagne after so many years. <laughs> Why do you treat her so badly? Why would you say that? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm treating my niece so badly? Listen, Emelda, the only way to bring up a decent girl in this part of our world is strict upbringing. And you see how Kambili has turned. Actually, she turned out to be a very good girl. She turned out well and better. That's the only way to keep them grounded. I see. I wish I was a little strict with Max. Well, you've seen how decent my Kambili turned. That's a dividend of strict upbringing. He spared the rod and spoiled the child. Well, Max is a man. He is living his life. 
living his life. Well, I've saw, I've seen little of it. But as I said, when you spare the rod, the child got spoiled. So what's the meaning of sparing the rod and spoiling the child? It means sparing the rod and spoiling the child. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like people in the hood. Whatever. You know the You have eyes for beautiful things. This is London Square. I can say so that again. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you have eyes for good things. Mm -hmm. hmm. This will fit Gambini so well. Yes, because Gambini is very beautiful. Don't mind those her big, big gowns. There's something that is inside there. The body is well shaped and beautiful. Oh, that kind of food. Uh, hey! Gambini! Gambini! Come! Good day, ma. Good day, my fine girl. How are you? Fine. Come. We brought your wedding dress to fit. Wedding clothes? Yes. Look, you didn't tell her. Of course, I told her. I didn't tell you you are getting married. And I thought you were joking. I told you I want to further my education. Just go get to you there. Are you alright? Mama, what is your problem? I'm so sorry, Mama. The truth is, I didn't give my consent. You, you didn't do Don't what? Come back here! Don't hit her. Don't do that. Please. Uh, so, you have an ass to question me. You then question me. Listen, I can't believe it. I know it's like a shock to you. Don't worry. You are getting married to my son. He's a good boy. He will take good care of you. Okay? This dress. Ma, are you begging? Are you begging her? We are doing her a favor. Now come. I don't want to get off of you. Peek. Go. Shower. Fix this. And come out. We want to see you. Be quick. I'm deceitful on it. Don't get it white. Ego, can you calm down? I'm coming down. You know those girls. Don't be too harsh on her. I'm not being harsh. See, all this JC girls, fourth, being strict, is the only language they understand. I understand. That's easy, please. I'm taking it easy. Just. Don't worry, she will come around. I know her very well. <laughs> Thank you when so she much. Comes out, if you see how fitting, because I know she has this, you know, well, shapey, curvy. Trust me, she will come. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We are doing a good deed. I have to scratch this one. I told you you're not smart. Where do you even want to go? Auntie, please. I don't want to get married now. I want to further my education, please. On whose account? You think I will spend my money to send you to school? You are a joke. Auntie, I can't be walking and be going to school. Please, I have served you all these years with the hope that you send me to school as promised. But even if you can't, you have tried for me. Please, I will find my way and go to school. Marriage is not in my book now, please. It's already too late because I've sold you off to Imelda's son. Sold? You don't talk while I'm talking. I even give you a better life. I give you a chance to have a better life. Please, you know I'm very intelligent. If I further my education, I'll make you proud. You'll be proud of me, I promise you. Just don't, don't do this to me, please. It's very simple. You can get your dead mother to send you to school. You know what? The gate is open. It's your choice. So please, if you want to go, 
feel free. Auntie, please. Mm. Make sure you close my gate when you leave. Auntie, please. Please, Auntie. You are all I have. Please. Please, Auntie. Do, do you know something? I gave you a chance. A chance to have it all. A chance to get married to a rich man. You get to live in a good house. Eat good food. Not a choice of life. You are getting married to a rich husband. Something that I don't have. I'm offering you. Come here. I came to see you. I am sorry, I, I didn't personally come to ask you to marry my son. You know, marriage is not something you do on a whim. It's not a decision you take out of the blues. I actually got married when I was about your age. Yes, my parents literally pushed me to marry my husband. In the long run, it was worth it because my husband turned out to be the love of my life. My child, you get married into my family, that fought you a change of life, a better life. You can go to school if you want. Yes, marriage will afford you the opportunity to escape this life. You live today. Don't you want it? I want to go to school, ma. It is one step at a time. Once you get married, you talk to your husband, he will listen. Your auntie wanted me to talk to you. Yet while talking to you, I will not leave out the truth. You are not living a happy life. You are not happy here. I see it every time I come here. Are you not tired? Kambili, imagine you getting married and having staff answer to you. Everybody is at your beacon call. You have the best of dress. Wear it when you want to wear it. Have your accessories. Dress the way you want and have a husband that does on you. That is amazing. An adorable husband. That is every woman's dream. Kambili, marrying my son has a clause. Marry him for two years. You can leave if you want. And trust me, you'll be well compensated. Just two years? No, you can make it a lifetime. The ball is on your court. It's all in your hands. If you want it for a lifetime, no problem. Your change of life begins as quickly as you made the right decision today. Did my auntie sell me to you? What? No. Can't believe you're a good girl. And I believe you make a good wife. I relayed my desires to her. And that is why we are here now. But this your son we are talking about, I've not seen him. I don't even know what he looks like. We are not even sure if he would like me. But you have seen me. I am my son's representative. Yes, Max is a very busy man. But trust me, he'll make it up to you. Okay? Is Max his name? Yes. Max is his name. You know, marriages are contracted today in the absence of the groom. But in this case, he is not here now. He will be present on the wedding day. All right. All right, I accept. Is that a yes? 
Yes, it is a yes to everything. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kamberly. You will not regret it, trust me. Thank you for clarifying my doubts. I'm glad my auntie didn't sell me to you. No, she didn't. Let me get Can you. I get a hug? <laughs> You're so beautiful. Mark. And you too, darling. You're welcome. I don't even know what is going on. How are you today? I'm fine. You must be excited. Tomorrow is your wedding. <laughs> So tomorrow you're going to be a married woman. It's not just an ordinary married woman, a rich married woman because you're getting married to a handsome rich guy. I'm jealous. Beyond <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Quick one. And I'll just say if you sign this. Yes. You, there's no need to read it. It's just paper. Just sign. Sign. We need to commit it to the court before the wedding tomorrow. So just sign. Put date, put the date. Mm -hmm. More like it. Oh, good. See, you need to rest. Mm? I'll go and rest too. So that will look fresh. You have to rest very well because you're going to take pictures tomorrow and I want you to be looking all beautiful. Rest, huh? Thank you, Auntie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome to my humble abode. Your house is beautiful, my husband. Thank you very much. Thank you. It actually cost me a fortune to build this one. Evidently. Oh, yeah. That's quite a hectic day, and I'm famished. Can you please go inside and make me something to eat? Uh, I prefer pound and yam. Did my mom tell you that's my favorite? Your aunt said you are good at it. Yes. Okay, good. Go make me some pound and yam. I was thinking if you could put, probably eat the food your mother gave us so we can rest after a hectic day tomorrow. Are you questioning me? No, I was just making a harmless suggestion. I didn't mean to upset you, I'm sorry. Are you alright? I'm asking you, are you alright? I guess you're not. Listen to me. This is my house, okay? In its entirety, it's my house. And I have the right to say what I want to eat and when I want to eat it. Don't you dare say what you just said out of your mouth again. Now get your ass to the kitchen and make me pound and yam. Right there. Ah, uh, come, Billy. Oh, come back, come back here. Take off my shoes. I said, take off my shoes. You stood for like three seconds. Why? Were you contemplating or what? No, no, sir. It's hard to wait. Take them upstairs. 
Take them upstairs. Come on. And uh, make sure you make that pounded there for me to eat now, eh? What a stressful day. I'm, I'm Max's wife, not the maid. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I never thought he would go through with it. Uh, how, you're pretty, though. Thank you, Ma. Well, how is married life treating you? Uh, it's fine. Is he in? Yes, he's in. Oh, okay. So I'll just go in and. Uh, oh, he's in. Oh. Here. Hey. Beautiful. How you doing, girl? Mm. Mm. <laughs> why, why, why are you doing that in front of your wife? Come on. Did I hear you say my wife? Mm-hmm. Hey, come on. Come off it. This is the normal way we do it. So, why are you so angry with me all of a sudden? But you're married now. Married mm -hmm. to sweetheart. Come on, I'm not married, okay? This marriage was forced on me. As a matter of fact, you know deep down in your heart that I'm married to no one. Keep talking like that, and I will celebrate my decision for not marrying you. Just come on. It would have been different with you. Anyway. No, 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 no. Don't even don't do that with me. It wouldn't have. Hey, it's okay. You look pissed. Shouldn't I be pissed? Anyway, uh, it's too early for this. Why don't you come inside so we'll talk? I want to know how you've been faring. All right? I said, what are you doing on my bed? something you are not my wife you were sold to me I paid heavily for you to be here and that makes you whatever I say you are and I make it bold to say you are not my wife you are my servant you are whatever I say you are I am your God, your Lord. Okay? God, God, please. I just hope this is not what I'm thinking. 
Whatever you are thinking does not concern me in any way. Let me make myself clear one more time. You are not my wife. You don't have the right to lie on my bed. No, you don't have the right. Do you know what you are meant for? To service me. I know what that means. It is whenever I am urged, whenever I feel like pleasuring myself, then I'll let you in. The moment I'm done, you are out. Now get the hell out of my room. Out! I don't ever want to see you here again. Nonsense. Our matrimonial bed. You and who is doing matrimony? Are you, are you crazy or what? Hey, come Billy! Come Billy! Come here! Lie down there! Lie down, spread those legs! This is when you have the right to come to me. I said come before. I am Alex, um, the lawyer. You remember me? From the wedding. Yes, you're correct. Welcome. Thank you. I actually came to see uh, Max. You can sit down. Let me call him. Oh, he's here. Well, well. <laughs> Who do we have here? Huh? Max. The smart and intelligent barrister Alex. You've come to see if I'm still married, right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not far from that. And um, to also discuss the terms of uh, sharing the properties with excuse you. Me, excuse me. Why is he standing there? Come on, get in the kitchen, get in something to drink, okay? <laughs> Have a seat, okay? Thank you. Yeah. So tell me, Alex, what is happening? Well, uh, the reason I came at, um, as a particular day, I said, talking like a bachelor. Of course, Jesus! Sorry. Sorry. Dude. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. So sorry. What it's the sorry. hell? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright. Don't worry, I'll Are you dumb or something? What is wrong with you? Crazy or something? Matt, I said it's okay. It's not okay. Come on, Matt, it's okay. No, don't tell me it's okay. You know how much it cost me to bring to import this seat from Italy? Do you have an idea how much a pack of juice costs now? I'm asking you. Matt, I, I, I didn't know that. Shut up! Matt, I said it's okay. It's not okay. No, no, it's okay. It is not okay! I am talking to my wife. Now you listen to me. Listen attentively. You have to be disciplined, okay? Be careful! Don't waste my money! Get out of this place! Sorry, sir. Ah! My mother just intentionally gave me a dumb for your wife. Oh, Max. You don't say that about your wife. You don't call her that, Max. And if I do, who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? Who's gonna stop me? You? Huh? My friend, sit down. Sit down there! Let's discuss business. I don't have time for rubbish. What were you saying? Um, hey, hey, listen to me. Before you say any rubbish from your mouth, I want you to put into cognizance the fact that I'm the one paying you. Hmm? Yes. And he who plays the piper, detects the tune. Do I make myself clear? What does this mean? 
next time if you see me talking to my useless wife huh do not interfere if you do i will not hesitate to send you out to your stupid colleagues out there who wear oversized coats jumping from tricycles to, to, to motorcycles looking for 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 petty things to bear from the cell do i make myself clear i am sorry max i'm all ears speak well um Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another. Every day I am sober. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Alex. My name is Alex. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm sorry about the other day, okay? I am so sorry. Please. Boy, you didn't do anything wrong, sir. I should be the one apologizing. No, no, I should apologize. I mean, I should... No, I should, I should have kept quiet. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, where are you coming from and where are you going to? Um, I'm coming from the market. I went to buy food stuff, but I'm heading home, sir. You're walking home with, with this? That is the way. Oh, come on, please, get into the car, let me drop you off. Please. No, sir. Thank you, sir. I'd rather check on, sir. Call me, sir, one more time and I'll, I'll start crying for you right now. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Alright, so, sorry. can I drop you off, please? Please, I insist. Okay, no problem. Okay. But you will not take me to our house gate, you just drop me by this street. Anything you want, ma. I'm at your service. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my eyes. Why me now? Smile never come my way now. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? And what do you think you're doing? Huh? By the way, it's powder. I just applied powder on my face. Ah. So it has come to this. Huh? You making up? For what? Huh? For who? I'm asking you, who are you making up for? Oh, I see. So, it is in my house that you want to learn prostitution, right? I'm asking you. You want to you you want to go into full time prostitution? So, what are you making up for? For who? It's, it's, it's not proper makeup. I just applied white soda. Will you keep your mouth shut? How dare you speak back at me? Who do you think you are? I'm sorry, but please don't forget I'm your wife. I don't know why you're speaking to me like this. See, let me tell you something. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I have the right, the sole right to speak to you however I like. Do you understand? Do I make myself clear? Yes, but what have I done wrong? Please, if I've done anything wrong to you, tell me I'll apologize. I mean, this is not how husband treats wife now. Eh? That's if the wife has sense, okay? If you see your stupid self as my wife, you have some sense in that dope skull of yours. Okay? What is wrong with you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here now? Why are you lying down here? What are you doing? What have you done this morning? I... <laughs> I'm, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. I've washed, I've cleaned, I've cooked, I've, I've equally had my shower. And you think that is enough? What would you rather have me do again? It is even more annoying that you don't know what brought you to this house. And if you don't know, I will spell it out to you right here and right now. You are here to serve me. No other person but me, okay? You are here to serve me. I am your Lord. I am your God. You are here to serve no other person but me, okay? But I don't blame you. All you do all day is eat and relax. 
Eh? You eat, you drink, you do whatever you want to do, and then you, 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 you lie down here like a lazy log of wood. I don't blame you. You are lazy! I'm not lazy. You know I'm not lazy. I have done everything like I said earlier. I have cleaned, I have cooked, I have washed, I have, I have done everything. Okay, what do you want me to do? I will tell you what you haven't done. Okay? Now, before the count of five, get your lazy ass up and serve my friends some food. Okay? I want you to always remember this. I am your Lord. I am your God. After you pray to God Almighty every morning and night, the next person you should pray to is me. You pray in my name. Pray in Master's name. Do I make myself clear? Get your lazy ass up and go serve my friends some food. Before the count of five. One, two, three. Rubbish. You have the guts to talk to me. You've done everything. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me now? Tears never dry for my eyes. Why me now? Smile never gone my face. Have you washed my clothes? Okay. I was waiting to speak to you about it. Please. I'm not feeling too well. My head aches. Could you please teach me how to use the washing machine so I can use it to wash the clothes for you? At least for today. I'm not strong at all. You're not feeling well is no news to me. Your question is. Are you also mad? Hmm? Because I have said this to you before. I don't like my clothes being washed in the machine. Are you here asking me silly questions? I'm not feeling fine. Please. My body is shaking. Please. Let me make this clear to you. From Sunday through Saturday, it is work, work, work. No day off. Do I make myself clear? You must work round the clock. That is why you're here. Now make yourself useful. I've not told you this before. Please, I'm your wife. Please, let me just rest and get myself small. Who can wash the clothes for me? I see. I am becoming too lenient with you. I'll be back. Thank you for your understanding. I have come to realize that of all the privileges you enjoy under my roof, I am going to remind you of one this very moment. The privilege I gave you to wear whatever you want to wear in this house has come to an end. Yes. Look at you. I'm very sure you don't even know what brought you to this house. And I will make it clear to you right now. You are nothing. Absolutely nothing but a maid. A dirty, stinky maid. And that is what you are. And nothing changes. From today onwards, wearing whatever you like in my house is prohibited. What is in your hands belongs to my former maid. You are to wear this every day in this house. Morning, noon, and night. If I set my eyes on you not wearing this uniform in this house, I will kill you with my bare hands. You call yourself my wife. Calling yourself my wife is like a goat calling a lion a husband. I will eat you without no choice. Try me. I will eat you without no choice. I am your God. I am your Lord. 
Put on that uniform and make yourself useful right now. Do I make myself clear? Don't pass. Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my body. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From pain to another. Every day I am sob. Is this the way I am gonna be? How is my age treating you? It's been okay, I guess. I hope Camille has been a good wife to you. Camille, how are you? Welcome. Pleasure. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> enough, enough. Get inside. Go and get us something to eat. So how is business going? Oh, well, business is going very well, Mother. I'm glad to announce to you, Mother, that I just landed a big contract that will give us more money. Wow. Yes. Quite impressive. I am super proud of you. Thank you very much, Mother. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm too hungry now. Can't believe yes, this girl now. You are too slow. Talk to her like that. Call her calmly. I saw the way you spoke to her earlier. Why? She's your wife. Oh, mother, come on. What are you insinuating? Eh? Let your son breathe. Uh, do you think I'm maltreating her? If I'm maltreating her, we she be looking this chubby. Why is she putting on that maid's uniform? She's your wife. There you go again, mother. I have to hold you severally. Stop watching yourself over relevant things. Eh? See, she likes it that way. We understand ourselves. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to groom her. Eh? You want to spoil her for me? I'm not sure. No. Listen, I don't want you to maltreat her. Treat her nicely. As, like I said earlier, she's your wife. Treat her with a lot of respect. So that other people that will see you with her will respect her as well. Okay, I'll try my best. It's okay. Nice. Where is this girl? I can't believe you are too slow for my life. You are too sluggish. Where's the food? Calm down now. She's bringing the food. But she's quite timid. Maybe it's her long years of uh, servitude. Have you noticed? Thank God you are saying what I'm saying. Very timid and weird. I don't even know the bush I bought her for. Don't treat her like that. At least you should be good to have some last time. It's okay, mother. I'll try. I'll try. Family, thank you for the food. My food is served. Mother. Come, let's do it. Even you. No, I'll try that it in the kitchen. Why? You made the food, come let's eat. No, I mean, I have some dinners I'm doing in the kitchen. Mother, let's go and eat. Come on, let's go. Is this the way I'm gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? How are you doing, Kaguri? I'm fine. And, um, how is your husband? Fine. Your heart speaks to me. But I should always learn to smile. I mean, you should also know that smile makes a lot of difference. I can't give what I don't have. How can I smile when my life is enveloped with pains, anguish, sadness? Main mention of his name gives me adrenaline rush. I lack peace within. I see you. I see what you're going through, Kambili. 
and I also see your strength. Do not let anyone tear you down. Candily. Don't let anyone tear you down because in that eyes of yours is a fire that can burn through hearts. My strength has failed me. Yes. I've prayed for the doors of heaven to open. But it seems like the compassionate ears of the angels are permanently blocked against me. No. Come on, come on. Don't, don't, don't say that. Okay, don't. I wish you can see yourself through the eyes of others. Looking in your eyes, the reflection of me is a timid, hopeless, helpless girl whose fate is drawn to perpetual dilemma. That's all I can see. That is not what I see. I can't believe I. Listen, I. I see a strong woman who knows the extent of her strength, but refuse to respond to negativity because she has a heart of gold. Thank you. I pray for in peace. Oh. Alex, Matt, how are you doing? I'm um, getting something to drink. I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you? Yes, I'm fine. Good. Oh, I came as a suggested. What? Well rehearsed African woman sits in discussion with the husband's friend without the husband's consent. Huh? Huh? How did we go at the market? Fine. You won't come back. I don't like the way your wife dresses. Don't you feel embarrassed? Embarrassed? Why? Hmm? Max, don't tell me you're maturating that girl. <laughs> because if you are, I'll be disappointed in you. Mariam, I am not maturating anybody, okay? That's just the way she likes dressing. It has nothing. Absolutely nothing to do with me. Okay. Give me some money. I want to go shopping for her. Mm -hmm. Because even if she is a living maid, wearing that uniform to the market, come on. As in, give you money for what? Because of her? Is she contesting in any pageantry or what? I'm My sure dear. you're not talking to me, Max. Just let her be. She's enjoying herself, okay? Max, mm -hmm. you're not talking to me, are you? I just said, give me some money. I want to take her shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. How much are we talking about before you give me your ears? Fine. Just give me your ATM card. Come on, don't be stingy. You have the money. Just bring it. Oh, come on, Miriam. Do not make her feel like swimming money, okay? You know how those village girls behave. Hmm? Did, did you just say that? Village girl, for real? Oh, so slip of tongue. 
I take that back. Better. I don't know why you're behaving the way you are. And it's truly sad. <laughs> and trust me, I dodged a bullet when I refused your proposal. You know what, Maria? Mm. I was down, you know, and I needed you by my side. But you, you turned me down, you know? And talking about missing a bullet, you miss a good one. Good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you? A mm -hmm. good one? What a laugh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, the money. Mm. Of course, I said I was going to give it to you, all right? Come on. But I want the card right now. You're not even drinking. You're not sipped from your glass. Come on, let's go. Well, I'm not sipping because I don't know how cheap the wine is. <laughs> because you're stingy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the card. Yeah, I know you're joking anyway. I've done one of these before. Ready? And you know it. What do I like? Can you use all this? Of course. What are friends for? Perfect choice. You look so good on you. Thank you. Ah, you don't have to thank me. Thank you so much. Come on. Come on. I didn't do anything. Your husband gave me the money for all of this. So you should thank him. He did? Why are you surprised? Are you both having problems? No. <laughs> ah, this color is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I am very well. Thank you. Can't believe. Come, give me your hand. You know you can talk to me, right? About anything. I mean, anything. Are you sure you're fine? Yes, thank you. Thank you, the clothes are beautiful. You know what? If I leave this place, I'll make sure I give you a little makeover. I'm gonna make you a doll. And trust me, when Max sees you, he will be blown. He'll be so surprised, I promise. Are you sure he will like it? Ah, come on, he's my friend. I've known him over the years. So trust me. Come on. Bring it in. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Yes. Every day I am sob. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Oh, why me? I must say. You look good. Thank you. But I would not have my wife dressed like a street prostitute in my house. Miriam said she would love it. Yeah, she's right. I love it. But not on you. You see, Classy looks are not for village girls like you. I would not have you dressed like this in my house. Because sooner or later, you will grow wild and start following other men. You get my point now. So go and take it off.
Hey. Come back here. Talking about you looking good. The way you're dressed makes me really, really horny. Tears never dry from my eyes, they never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry from my eyes. Why me? No. Smile never come my way. No. Why me? Oh, why me? Come, Billy! Sir! Come here! Jesus! Ow! Sir! Did I ask you to wash this car? I, 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 I was. Did I? Are you mad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. 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 What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? How dare you push me in my own house? As for goodness sake, this is your wife. She's your wife for goodness sake. And what is your concern? How dare you walk into my house with your filthy legs to tell me how to treat my wife? How? Now you listen to me. Before they count of five, turn around and get out of my house. Please now! Please don't go, he will kill me. He will kill me, please. He will kill me. Will... Alice, get out of my house. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rubbish. Look at this nonentity. Huh? Huh? You're plenty good guy, right? Yeah, Mr. Nice Guy. Come in and teach me how to treat my wife. Oh shit! How do I go to work right now? Come on, come and wash his clothes! Tears never dry from my eyes They never leave my bed What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am sob Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery Christ! He's not around though. Max is not around. I know. I... I came to see you. What? He did this to you? Yes. I'm so sorry. Okay? I am so sorry. I mean, I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Please. Um, he's not around. You know, after that, after what happened here yesterday, please stop. Please. 
I couldn't sleep. I, mean, I had to come and check up on you. Please. It hurts. It is. It does. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know what? Let, let me quickly get you some painkillers. Please don't. No, no, no. Let, if let me he comes back and sees it to be a problem, he will start beating me again. Please, don't bother. Kimberly. I'm already used to the pain. No. Kimberly, no. You, you can't be used to abuse. Okay? I mean, I, I am sorry you're the one in this situation. I am so sorry. It, it breaks my heart each time I come and see sadness all over your face. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Thank you. You know, you know what? Let, let me quickly get you the drugs before he comes back, okay? Please don't say no, okay? Please. Please. Come on. Smile never gonna Tears never dry from my eyes. Me Smile never gone my face. So I can't leave either. My aunt practically sold me to him. Even if I decide to leave, I have nowhere to go. What? Kimberly, I can help you. No. Max's family is very influential. I wouldn't want you to be in their back book. Please. I have to be here till he gets his inheritance. That was the agreement. And then what? Then I can leave. Listen, Kambali, I understand no one wants to get into the Oswald's bad book. Okay, I understand that is your fear. I do. But I am ready to fight this for you. Alex, thank you. You're such a kind man. You've done more than enough for me. I wouldn't want you to put yourself in trouble. You, you give me hope when I'm hopeless. That's already enough. You should consider your security too. I wouldn't want you to enter into a problem because of me. Don't worry about me. By special grace of God, I'll be fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll be fine. You're a beautiful soul, Kambali. I just hope he sees that someday. Look, I will do everything within my powers to make sure you get the security you deserve. Trust me. Why don't you take um, take more water? Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry from my eyes. Why me? Smile never gone my face. Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? Tears never dry. Why? What happened to you? I fell. Oh. You fell. 
from a plane, a skyscraper, a tower, perhaps the pyramid of Giza. Oh. Tell me, can we do? What exactly happened to you? <laughs> Did he do this to you? Did Max do this to you? I, I am so sorry. I am sorry. Oh, please, please calm down. Calm down, calm down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's sit. Let's talk about it. Okay, just sit. Whatever gave Max the effrontery to do this to you is totally unacceptable. No, it's unheard of. I thought he would love me. I hoped my life would get better after marriage. Unfortunately, it got worse. Worse. You've been through so much. God. I can't even imagine how you held on for so long. I cannot even believe your aunt sold you to them. And he reminds me of it every minute. I guess happy ever after is a mirage because nothing about my life exudes happiness. It's been from pain to agony to anguish to... Mm -hmm. No, don't say that. There's always happy ever after. Trust me on that. And I will make sure Max gets its act together. Please, please, please don't talk to him about all of this. I wouldn't even want him to know that I spoke to you about my experience here. Please, Come he will me. beat me. Calm down. Please. I know how to handle him. He's my friend after all. You just don't worry. Your story? Brought me close to tears. I never would have imagined it. I can't. I don't. I don't even know how to picture it. I don't. I can't believe my friend has become a beast. I cannot even believe that Max will raise his hand on a woman. More so his own wife? This is insane. I wish... I wish I never married him. I just wish. I know. I know. I can't even look into his eyes. It seems like I am married to my slave master. <laughs> He's lucky, you know. He's lucky to have you. Because if he had tried his nonsense with me, I would definitely break his head. I lost the strength to fight. I lost the strength to argue. I just wish I would just sleep and never wake up. Don't even say that. No. No. That's the last thing that should come to your mind. Listen. I'll talk to Max, and I promise everything will be fine. Okay? No, just calm down. Calm down. No, no, no. You don't have to be. You're a strong woman. No, come on. It's okay. He's treating me this way. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just I'll talk to him. No, stop crying. Okay? Don't cry. Why me? Why me? Tears never dry for my family.
that you're this mean and wicked. How can you raise your hand and hit your wife? An innocent woman. How can you? What would you like to She fell. Oh, from the pyramid of Giza, I guess. Right? No, tell me, Max. No, tell me. What is wrong with you, Max? You stand here and you're lying to my face that she fell. Or, or you told her to tell people she fell. I didn't lie to you, okay? I said so because that is the truth. Who is this person standing in front of me? What did she ever do to you? Why would you meet out such level of cruelty to her? Why are you, why, why, why you treating her this way? What makes you think she did nothing? Do you live here with us? Ouch! What do you do that for? That's exactly the way she's feeling right now. It's painful, right? Of course it is. Oh, really? But not as much as what you've done to her. Max. You, honestly, you disgust me. This person standing in front of me is not my friend. If you could treat your wife that way, that means I'm not even safe with you as a friend. Oh, I wasn't going to treat you that way. Don't patronize me, Max. Don't even do that with me. You better start to get your act together. You better start to treat her right. And if you don't, consider this friendship over. Your pick. Every day I am sub. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Can't believe! Why me? Oh, why me? Come here! Come on! What do you say, Maria? I'm asking for the last time. What do you tell about it? Tears never dry from my eyes. They never leave my bed. What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another. Every day I am sob. Is this the way I am gonna be? Living in pain and misery. Why me? Where do you think you're going? Wherever the breeze blows me to, that's where I'm going. Yes, I don't even think of stopping. And if I try to stop, you will You will see what I will do. Damn me. Monster. Shut my door, please. You can go to anywhere you want to go to. I don't give a damn. Good you don't stay bad rubbish. Far away from this slavery, far away from this misery. Tears never dry from my eyes. Yeah, cheers. To professional bachelorhood. What kind yeah. of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? Uh -huh. From where to where? Please help me, he wants to kill me. Who is going to kill you? Auntie Max wants to kill me. He's been very mean to me. He calls me all manner of name. He told me he's my lord and he has the right to treat me anyhow. Mom, um, enough. See, marriage is for better for us. No leave, no transfer. When you were in my house, you thought I was maltreating you, right? So you better go back to face your shiggy promise. Please, Auntie, please, I am sorry. Please, don't allow him to kill me. He is not going to kill you. Besides, I'm spending the money they paid on your head already. You can see, I bought gold. The largest of them all. See my hand. It's an investment. So that I'll go back to my contract deal. If I get into any office, they'll just look at my gadget and know that I can handle any money. So please do not use your reggae to spoil my blues. Please. Please, Auntie. How do I make you understand that Max is not going to kill you? I don't want to die. You're not going to die. This is marriage. I am going through a lot in my house. 
Oh. Auntie, please. See, a lot of women go through a lot. Just endure. Besides, I don't have the five million naira to refund. If you come back here, the Ozos will lock both of us and throw the key to the lagoon. Is that what you want from me? No, Auntie, don't worry. I will, I will work. How? So we can raise the money and refund them. From where? What will you do that will fetch you five million naira in a short while? Listen, I know you don't think fast. Remember the document you signed a day before your wedding that I brought in your room? It was an agreement between you and the others that you will be in that marriage for two years without going anywhere or you face the consequences. So which one do you want? We going to jail or you enduring it for the two years? Me. How? Auntie, 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 you have killed me. How? Tell me. Auntie, you deceived me. I asked you that day. You told me it's for a court wedding. You didn't even allow me to read the contract. I have you... no choice. The money Imelda was offering is not worth it. So what do you have me do? Auntie, you have a choice. No, I don't. You do. How could you be so mean? How it's could, not why do you hate mean. me so much? I don't hate you. You do, Auntie. You <laughs> do. <laughs> How could you have me? This guy wants to put me into trouble. Oh. Yeah, baby, baby, I can't believe. Please, go back to your husband's house. Auntie, please, they will kill me. Go back to your husband's house. Oh, I don't want to die. Oh. You are not going to die. It's just enduring. <laughs> eh? Nedia, Nedia, Nedia. You will overcome. Please, before I go in and come out, you are gone already. And to be good. Go, 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 do the things I want Far away from this slavery Far away from this misery Tears never dry from my heart They never leave my bed What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? From one pain to another Every day I am so Is this the way I'm gonna be Living in pain and misery Why me? Oh, why me? Oh, why me? What are you doing here? My aunt asked me to leave. She has left me to my feet. You know, I, I do not expect anything less from a woman who practically sold you. My problem now is I don't want to go back to the house. I don't want to die. Max will kill me. He will just kill me. Have you, have you tried talking to his mom? What difference would that make? His mother was there one day that he was maltreating me, talking to me anyhow. Did she do anything to remedy this situation or stop me? This is, this is, so, this is so bad. I mean, this is bad. The problem now is I don't have the money to give them back. And I had already signed the agreement. What 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 did you sign? My story is very pathetic. A day before my wedding, my aunt brought one um one paper to my room and asked me to sign. I wanted to read it though. She told me not to read it. That is just paper for our court wedding. I just signed it. Only for me to realize that what I signed is an agreement that I will stay with Max for two years, must, for him to get his inheritance from his father. So the marriage is just for his own selfish gain and interest. He even paid my aunt five million naira. She sold me to him. This is, this is bad. I mean, it, it's, it's quite unfortunate that, Kambili, you're surrounded by wicked people. Story of my life. Story of my life. I don't even know what to do. I don't have the money. I even pleaded with my aunt. I said, let's work and save this money and pay back. She said, no, that I must go back to the house. You know what? Um, everything will be fine, all right? Just come. Come, let me take you home. Right. 
Do not take me home yourself. Please, please, please don't. I'll just go by myself. If you take me there, that means you want him to kill me finally. Come on, Kambili. I, I, I can believe I could come with you. Okay? I, 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 in fact, I will come with you. Thank you. You've been the light on this my dark path. I appreciate you so much, Bo. Please, don't worry. I, I will go home. Somebody, I would do anything for you. I mean, you don't have to thank me. Okay? Um, you know what? Um, first and first, I know you must be very hungry. So, can I take you somewhere where you can um, eat or you prefer ice cream? Which one? Ice cream. Ice cream. All right, ice cream you get. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for making me smile. Oh, come on. Where are you coming from? I'm sorry. I knew it. I know they failed to tell you that you signed an agreement. You knew it. I do. As a matter of fact, I am the brain behind the signing of the agreement. I ensured they made you sign it. And to think you disrespected me. I have been waiting for you to come back crawling like the dog that you are. I own you. You go nowhere. You have no say over what happens in your life. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. And Jesus, please. Next time, before you ever think of disrespecting me, please. remember that I taught you and that you're nothing, absolutely nothing but a commodity to me. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Do I? Yes, sir. Now you're going down and beg. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, don't forgive me. Please. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Please. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I will do it again. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Let me stay. I'm begging you. Ah. Uh, this is what I like. This drives me crazy. When you when you beg me like this, it it turns me on, you know. Now you listen to me. You go up there, jump on the bathroom, wash away your sin. From your head to your toe. Jump in the bed. Spread your legs. And wait as I come to devour you. You are to pleasure me to fight. Go! Fight. Ah! Tears never dry from my eyes They never leave my bed What kind of life am I living? Is this the right way of living? 
From pain to another Every day I am sober Hello? Is this the way I am gonna be? Hello? Yes Jesus! Accident? I'll be on my way You know, it's been a very difficult time. I believe you now. Kambili here. Be taking care of you. Kambili, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Please take good care of my son. I'll be coming from time to time to check on you people. And you, try and be nice. A little. Right? Can't believe I'll see you, okay? You're sitting like a log of wood. Huh? Staring at me? Staring at me as if you have not seen a crippled man before. If you don't have anything to do with them, make yourself useful. Bring me to my room. Nonsense. I said, you can come and have your bath. Take your filthy hands off me! Sir, what have I said wrong? I just said you should come and have your bath. I don't want to take my bath. For two good days, you've not taken your shower. Okay, let me at least get some water with towel and help you clean your little shower. Leave me alone! I will take my bath when I feel like. Now get the hair out of my face. Out! You need to eat so you can take your medications, please. wrong with you? Yes, don't you dare raise your voice at me or hurt me again. Don't try it. Don't. And if I do? I'm asking you, if I do, what can you do? You are lucky. You are very lucky that I can't walk. I would have beaten the hell out of you and sent you back in. Unfortunately, you can't do anything to me. You can't! 
These are guns when you maltreat me, intimidate me, and treat me like a piece of trash. Now listen, Max. I owe you. Your life is in my hands. I can actually decide to kill you if that's what I want. I can choose to leave you on this wheelchair for a whole one week without food. You will be on your body, pull on your body, and choke on sadness. Even in your miserable state, you still want to make my life a living hell. What have I done to you? Am I not human? Max, you hurt me. You hurt me so deeply. I could, I, I, I could strangle you right now. I could hurt you. I could make you suffer. Destroy everything and make you feel the pain that you made me went through. But no. I am not like you. Thank you, stars. I won't do anything to hurt you, but I will stand here and watch you intimidate me, hurt me for no reason again. Just look, even in your miserable state, you're trying, you're still trying to lay your filthy fingers on me. Already, Kama is paying you for everything you did to me. Now listen, and listen attentively. Respect yourself, okay? Don't you dare try me again. Respect yourself in this house. Because if you try me, if you try me, if you try me again, Max, I swear, you will not like me. I will borrow some pages from your book of terror and teach you that you're not the only one that has the monopoly of wickedness. I choose to be kind, nice, humble, considerate, caring. Don't take me for a weakling. Don't stand me! I call the shot now. You will use the phone like that. That's your punishment. Don't even try to stress me. Come close. Yes, sir. Where are you going to? To the guest room, of course. You should be lying here with me. I want you to, to stay with me. I'm sorry, I can't. Camille, I'm your husband. You can't say no to me. I'm sorry, I can't do everything you want me to do as usual. Okay. I want you I want you to stay with me now. Please. I'm sorry. I can't lie beside you. I've never laid beside you. You don't let me to. So I don't know what is the difference now. I don't know what changed. What if I want to pee? There's a bowl. You can use it and I'll trash it in the morning. Good night, sir. Can't believe. Can't believe. Come. Can't believe. 
Can't be late. Yourself. You should have called me to help you out. I, I don't know why you would do so. What is it? Relax. Relax. You think I'm going to hurt you? No. It is not in my place to be heartless. I know if I were the one in your shoes, you would have made life more miserable for me. You would have maltreated me, humiliated me as usual, call me all manner of name, and throw me out to the street. I won't treat you like that. I still feel you deserve to be cared for. You deserve to be treated right, regardless. Relax, I won't hurt you. It is not in me, it can never be in me. I will always be here to take care of you. It's okay. So, you need to go soon. Take your shower. Mm. Now you've taken your shower, I know you feel a lot better. Mm? So you have to lie down. No, no, no. Let me see for a while, please. It's okay. Don't forget to call me when you want to lie down. Will you ever forgive me? You need maximum rest. Okay? Let me go and get your breakfast ready. I am sorry for me. He hurt me so much. Sometimes I just feel like hurting him back, but I can't. It is not in my person to be wicked and mean to people. But the truth is, your friend dealt with me. You're a special person, Kambri. When you have a beautiful heart and a wonderful soul. People like you are rare in this world, you know. You know, some persons will see this as an opportunity to have their pound of flesh, to deal with him decisively. <laughs> Someone who is already crippled? Nah, that would be so heartless of me. I just pray he changes after this. Trust me, he will. You know, life-threatening incidents like this has a way of um, reformatting someone's brain, at least making you think straight about your choices and decisions, you know? He's lucky mm -hmm. to have you. Extremely lucky. God have given him a second chance. I pray he makes things right for himself. I pray that for him too. Okay, enough of him, him, him. So, how are you? I'm here holding on, taking it one after another. I've missed you. I don't think that's an appropriate thing to say to a married woman. But I can help you. Look, Kimberly, I can't get my heads off you. You are you're just everywhere. You've eaten all of me. I miss I'm, you. I'm sorry. But I can help you. Yes, you're a good man. You deserve the best. Alex, my prayer for you is that God will give you a beautiful, understanding, loving, caring, sexy, and God-fearing woman. Any woman that finds you is blessed forever. You are a kind man, Alex. Unfortunately, I'm taken. Married. <sighs> um, I have to go. Yes, because Max might be awake and once he's awake, he'll start looking for me. So I need to go. Take care of yourself. So soon? Yes. I have to go. Bye. Where are you coming from? I went 
outside to clear my head. That is unacceptable. You can't just go outside or the name of you want to clear your head. How? I'm here now, sir. What do you want me to do for you? I, I, I thought you left. Is there any problem with that? Not really. I'm sorry I raised my voice at you. I, 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 I just don't want you to go. I know you want me to be here and be taking care of you. Don't worry, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not that. I mean... You, you, won't, you won't believe even if I say it. It's, um, my lord, permit me to go and have my shower. Thank you, my lord. Oh, you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. If you let me. Can you explain? Maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. Kambili, how are you holding up? I'm good. Be sincere with me. You can tell me anything. How are you? He hurts me. He broke me. You know what? Come. I'm not fine. I know. Let's, let's sit and talk about it. When I was leaving my auntie's house, I was happy. I was very excited because I know everything I was going through in that house. I felt heaven has finally smiled on me. I thought I was going to be happy in my husband's house. Little did I know that I'm coming here to face the worst. Since the day I stepped my foot in this house, it's been pain, it's been agony, it's been maltreatment. I have not smiled. Max has been treating me as if I'm not human. He's been treating me as if I don't matter. I'm not happy. That's the truth. I am not happy. I thought I was going to be happy ever after. That was that was my expectations. Can't believe. You you will find your happy ever after. I promise you will. I've always told you this. See, see. Max has a lot of time to think now. It, trust me, everyone has abandoned him, including his friends. But you are here, taking care of him. The one he maltreated is the one taking care of him. I, 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 just, I just feel like strangling him. I feel like, I feel like treating him the way he has always treated me. I, I feel like making him to suffer so he would taste his own horror. That's what I feel like doing. But unfortunately, my wellness guide wouldn't let me. I can't find myself being inhumane like him. I can't find myself being heartless like him. I just wish... I wish I could. I've just come to the realization that Max is the most luckiest man on this earth. And I hope he sees that soon. 
Unfortunately, it's too late. No. It's never too late. You can both fix this. No, I don't love him. I don't feel a thing for him. And I would never love him. But you're still here. He's my husband. I'm obligated to take care of him. to serve me no other person but me okay you are here to serve me i am your lord i am your god you are here to serve no other person but me okay i will explain maybe you will understand everything is gonna be okay yeah i would love to explain to you just give me the chance Sorry, forgive me. I don't even know what is going on. How do I get her to forgive me? I don't know. She she hates my guts. No. She doesn't hate you. If she did, she wouldn't even care for you. I feel so bad. But is there hope for me? Can she ever turn around to love me? What? Oh, you're heading out? Yes, I'm going to the market. Oh, okay. Oh, sweetheart. I'll ask the driver to drop you off. No, sir. I'll go with the bus as usual. Thank you, my lord. <coughs> Did, did you did you just hear her? Did did you? You see how she referred to me as her lord. I'm her husband. This. Ah. How could I? How could I have treated her so badly? Just take a look at her. So innocent. A girl full of good. Yet I made her life so miserable. That you did. I'm glad you're beginning to see her now. Max, you should be thankful that after the way you treated her, there's still good in her. I'm so grateful to God for her. But... Uh, am I... Am I losing her? Am I? I do not have those answers. But one thing you should know is this. Forgiveness is found on the bended knees of repentance. You should work for it. I'll do anything. Everything to get her to love me. I hope I've not broken her beyond repairs. I'll, I'll do anything for her to love me. Can you please talk to her, please? Uh, Max, Alex, welcome. 
Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, as you can see, I am not doing badly at all. And uh, are you? <laughs> oh, well, I'm um, good, as you can see. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm fine. You see? I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing good. Uh, now I can do some things myself. I don't need to bother my wife anymore. It's a, it's a good thing you're here to check on me. Uh, but anyway, I know the main reason you're here. To see if I'm still married. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the jobs. Come on, it, Max. It. That's not it. Okay, I am also here to check on you and know how you're faring. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, not too many people give a damn about me since I found myself in this condition. You're a true friend and a brother. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, the truth is, um, it's institutions like this, you actually know those who care about you. Exactly. You can say that again. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, Alex. I said thank you. Okay. You know, uh, Max, I, I'm actually happy to see that things are working out between you two. Things are not going well. And it is all my fault. I wish I treated her better. Yeah, you should have. You know, she... She is gold, you know? Yes, she is. Alex, I... I want my marriage to work. I just don't know how to go about it. I don't know. Um, have you, have you tried apologizing to her? I mean, have you apologized to her for all that you put her through? Oh, uh, well, not outrightly, anyway. Well, Max, the truth is, um, first and first, you should apologize to her. You should start by apologizing, I mean, for all the pains, anguish, sorrow, bitterness you put her through. Then you find a way to make her see and understand that she means the world to you. You understand, right? Yes, I do. Uh, I regret everything I did to her. I'm just finding a way to make her understand how deeply I regret everything. I will do everything Everything to save my marriage. Everything. You know, I... I just wish you well. I wish you succeed. Um, at this point, Max, I... I beg to leave. Oh, no. Alex, you just came in. Where are you rushing to? No, I... I just got a text right now, so I have a meeting to attend to. I, I will check up on you. Later on in the day. I'll, I'll check on you, okay? Alex. Can you please help me talk to my wife?
Please not. Are you coming? Yes, I am. Hey, y'all been fucking. Are hey, you staying here? Happy birthday, Kambili. I, I forgot it's my birthday. I didn't even know. I guess you got my gift. Jesus. God. Yes. This is, this is, this is very surprising. Thank you so much. I've never received a birthday gift since I was born. I've never celebrated birthday. I am glad I am the first person to celebrate you. This means so much to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Kambali, I, I, I know I don't stand a chance with you, okay? Hell, I, I, I don't even know why I thought I should... I, 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 you know what? I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. It's okay. Um, I don't understand. What are you talking about? Kambili breaks my heart to say this, okay? It's your husband. He wants to make a man. <sighs> well, wow, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. As for Max, I hold nothing against him. And I don't just want him again. I can't wait to leave you. Listen, you know everything he put me through. How can you be begging on his behalf? I don't want to, okay? I don't, I swear. He begged me to. Okay, I need to be selfish of me not to. All right, in as much as I want you for myself, but come on. You're someone's wife, okay? I don't have time for this type of discussion. I'm busy. I'll talk to you later. Come, you know what? should hear him out. Okay, let's um, just hear him out, know what else to say. I said I would talk to you with that. But... Happy birthday, wifey! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, you, you bought gifts for me. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. How did you know it's my birthday? Well, Max told me. Happy birthday, wifey. I'm very thankful and grateful for all you do for me. Happy birthday. And how did you know it's my birthday? Oh, <laughs> Alex told me. Oh. And uh, for your special day, uh, I got you some stuff. Yes, he you like them? You did? Yes, yes, yes. did. All for you, for your special day. Because you're a special person. <laughs> Go ahead, open them. I do not want them. Uh, maybe you at least open them hmm? and see what's inside. I don't want to see what is inside. I'm not interested. Okay, uh, maybe you do that later, all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, sweetheart, my beautiful wife, I'm glad to announce to you that I made a dinner reservation for the both of us. It's going to be splendid. You'll like it. I'm not interested. I don't want to have the clothes, and I also do not want to go for the dinner. Thank you, my lord. Please permit me, I have something doing inside. House chores. Thank you, my lord.
Will she ever forgive me? Oh. I'm sorry, Max. But not to worry. I'll talk to her. I'm sure I'll... She's just upset. I'll fix it. Oh, you know, why not sit down? Yeah, fine, I'm good. is not around. I know. I came a bit earlier for appointments so I could see you. How are you? Not great. You've been avoiding my calls. If you speaking them, why, if I may ask? You asked me to stay with my abusive husband. Come on, Kimberly. That is the right thing to do. Okay? Uh, although I, I couldn't sleep. I've been thinking about you all day, all night. I, I couldn't get you off my head. I get it. I want you to understand something. Bad people don't change. That's who they are. Max is never going to change. I know you think he might change someday and start treating me the way I'm meant to be treated. But no, he's not going to change. I don't have any sweet memories of us together. He has never treated me right. From our honeymoon till date, it's been horrible experience. Yes, I don't think we, we have any chance of being together because I'm not happy. You don't say that. I mean, you don't know that for sure. Since you believe we still have chance of being together, why are you here? Because I love you. Okay, look, I, I can't control it anymore, okay? I love you. I can't get you off my head. And what am I supposed to say to that? Nothing. Okay, Kamali, absolutely nothing. You know, I shouldn't have said that. I mean, I shouldn't have put you in that spot. I, 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 I think I have to go right now, okay? I will just cancel for some other time, all right? Um, wait, Alex. Don't go. Please. Come and have a seat and wait for him. Please. Are you sure? I'm certain. I know you I'm sorry. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me. Sorry, forgive me. Okay. So why are you smiling sheepishly as if you won't let you? Let me get you some food. Are you serious? Yes, I am. <laughs> Alex. Hey, Max. I actually came early for appointment, and um, your wife here has to keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Are you sure you're here for that appointment or you came to see my wife? No, 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 I... 
I came for the appointment. Uh, as a matter of fact, we were just, um, you know, having conversations um, while I wait. Nothing more, nothing more. I see. Uh, you see, I am actually jealous. You could make my wife laugh. Um, well, Max, that's, that's the part you don't know about me. <laughs> I'm actually a funny guy, you know? <laughs> right? Very interesting. <laughs> you can say that again. Alex! Leave my house. Now! But I just. Oh. Leave! Henceforth, business will not go in my house, rather, in my office. So get out! Right, I'm sorry. I have never seen you laugh. You have never given me a reason to laugh, my lord. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me, forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Welcome, man. Can be here? Let me get you some. No, no, no. How are you? You really look good. You look great. I like your I like your outfit. It's beautiful. Kambili, I came to see you. Can, can we sit? Okay, never mind. I am sorry. I did nothing to help you. It's my bad. It's my wrong. And I'm very, very sorry. Please forgive me. Max called crying. He said I should come beg you to please forgive him. My child, forgive him, please. Why did you treat me this way? Auntie, I asked you if my aunt sold me to your son. But you looked me in the eyes and lied to me. My love. You watched me sign the contract, knowing fully well what I was going into. How could you all be so cruel, so heartless, so inhumane? You all did that on purpose. It was an intentional act. Kambili, please. We are sorry. I apologize on behalf of Max and I, please forgive us. He, he is truly sorry. He's a changed man. Yeah, he should be. No matter what, he's your husband. Mm. It's okay if he acts as if he's a changed man because his life seems to be on my palm now. I am the one taking care of him. No, but that's the truth. We are genuinely sorry. We all are sorry. Please forgive us. No, we have wronged you in every way. And in every way. Please forgive me. Forgive Your my apology son. means nothing to me. His apology means nothing to me, Auntie. Yes. It's even funny for him to think I would listen to you or accept your apology. Because as a mother, I expected you to do more. To put me into all of this. I if I were your child, you wouldn't have done this to me. Stop apologizing. I will never accept your apology. Excuse me, ma. Let me get you your son. I have something I'm doing. I'll make it to understand. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. 
Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you It's all your fault Really? Yes Why? Why didn't you stop me from maltreating her the way I did? I it's your fault, mom! It's your fault! I tried to. I did. But you wouldn't let me. With your high-handedness, your wicked heart, you wouldn't let me. You weren't firm enough. You should have stood your ground! Max, you are an adult. You are a grown man. You should know the wrong from the right. You should know the right things to do at every point in time in your life. You didn't try to stop me. I did. And you never listened to me. Mother. You are my mother. You should have corrected me. Please. You should have scolded me. Max, you made this mess. You put yourself in this mess. Fix it yourself. Don't go looking for a leeway to escape. Face it head on and take responsibility. Would you have listened to me if I tried with your wicked heart? You're looking for a leeway to escape responsibility. I did all of that. I tried to turn you into a good man. As a child, I tried to correct your bad attitude. But you were too stiff-necked to listen to me. Now you have found yourself in this mess. Take responsibility. The earlier you accept that responsibility, that it is your fault, your entire fault, that this happened, the better for you. In fact, the best for you, the better for everyone. Excuse me. Everybody has wickedness in your heart. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me, forgive me, cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you, I know you mad at me, I'm sorry, forgive me, forgive me, if you let me, I will explain, maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. If you give yeah. me a chance, I'll love to explain to you. I'll make you do. Just give me, the chance. give me the chance. I am sorry. If you forgive me. I've haunted you so much. So that. You flinch when I try to touch you. I understand it's not your fault. Oh, sweetheart, can you please find it in your heart to forgive me? I've hurt you so much. I know, but I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just want to fix it. Please. We are ready for your physio. That can wait. Oh, sweetheart. I, I, I wish to see you smile with me someday. The exact way I saw you smiling with Alex. I, I want to see you laugh. From the depth of my heart. I, I can do anything, everything, to make you smile. Please forgive me. Um, we can't have this conversation right now, my lord. You need to go. We are late for the visio. Kimberly, I am not your lord. Please listen to me. I'm not. Please. Don't, don't call me that. I'm your husband. You are my wife. If I can turn back the hands of time, I will make sure not to hurt you. I regret everything. I will not even try to touch the strand of your hair. Please, please forgive me. Like I said, 
we are late for the issue. That's all that matters. You will understand. You will understand. You're stepping out? Yes, I'm going for a date. Miriam, I thought she told you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, she did. Uh, maybe I should come with you guys. No, you don't have to. We just want to have girls' night out. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. <sighs> uh, it's just that I... I don't want my wife dressing up like this. Typical example of Max. You don't like me to look good, right? No, no, no that's, not, that's not what I mean. Uh, you look... You look so astonishing. So beautiful. It's, it's unsettling. I, I just feel so bad that I'm not the one taking you out. You've never taken me out. I'm not wearing your ring. You wouldn't mean. You asked me to stop wearing it. If you ain't putting on your ring, how do you expect other men to know you're married? Please, if you don't want me to go out, tell me, let me just go and sit down. No, that's not what I mean. Alright, I have to be on my way now. Um, everything is ready for you. Everything is in your room. I'm out. Ready? Thank you. I can't wait. You haven't taken your calls. Please, I'm not cut out for all this argument. I just came back and I need to rest. You are married to me! You're my wife! You lied! I am not your wife. I am whatever name you choose to call me. For house help or your dime sleeve. Have you forgotten so soon? Would you ever forgive me? Max, you hurt me. I thought you would be my light in my darkness. I thought you would give me reasons to smile and be happy again, but you dashed my hopes. All you gave me was pain, anguish. I can be all you ever want me to be. If you give me the chance. I'm sorry. It is too late. My dreams are different now. I wanted to stay here for a while and rest, but unfortunately you interrupted me. So I have to go. Can't believe. Max? I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Just completely. She screams at me, at will, as if I'm nothing. I'm you, serious. Are you talking about the Kambili I raised? Exactly. This Kambili is mine. Ah. Oh, my daughter. What are you doing here? Come on, Kambili. At least welcome me. It's been a while. See? I feel like holding hey, you. Please, there'll be no need for that. No need for that. So, 
I'm listening. You said you wanted to talk. Yes, my daughter. I am not your daughter. Have I offended you in any way? I've never been your daughter. So, you can start talking. Come on, Kambili. I raised you single-handedly when no one else would. I'm like your mother, do I didn't give birth to you. I caught me that respect. On that note, I wouldn't want your marriage to be ruined over unforgiveness. I know that your husband has hurt you severally. But well, that doesn't change the fact that he is still your husband. Kambili. My Kambili. Please. I know he's bad. But not too bad. You need to forgive him. Listen. Women go through a lot in marriage. Yours is not an exemption. Come on. Please. Max, so this is who you brought to speak to me? Uh, I... I... Really? Why are you sounding so rude? I didn't raise you like that. You know what's hilarious? You thinking you still have power over me. All my decision. I find it very funny. Now, Makego. Listen and listen attentively. You do not mean a thing to me. How dare you call me by my name? Sit. Uh -uh. Now listen. I'm no longer that little girl. You beat at will. You matured when you do fit. That girl is dead. This is a new person. You have to be cautious and respect yourself. She will love the way I would treat you. So this is who you brought to speak to me. Kambili. Kambili, are you not going too far? Are you serious? She's your aunt for Christ's sake. She ceased to be my aunt the day she sold me to you and your mother. You mean absolutely nothing to me. I don't regard you. Not even an out of regards for you. Now listen. And listen attentively. Get out. Hmm? And don't ever, in your wildest imagination, step your miserable feet into this compound. Get out of this house! Yes, immediately. Uh, out! And don't ever step your miserable feet into this compound! I'm Respect yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hi, baby. Welcome. Thank you. Mm. I got you some flowers. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Stop. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You'll like them. Sure. You're looking so beautiful. Hmm? Baby. Uh-uh. I want you so bad, Kimberly. I don't feel the same way. Who is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you seeing someone else? Are you seeing another man? Can we not have this conversation, please? That is it. 
always running away from conversations. When I wanted us to have this conversation, what did you do? You responded with fist. Sweetheart, can you, can you just forgive me, please? Will you ever forgive yourself for treating me the way you treated me? There lies the answer. You brought me so much pain. You subjugated me to perpetual pain. Agony. Well, I thank God for days and nights that are drawing me closer to the aspiration of our marriage contract. I can't wait to leave you alone. Your flowers. I don't need them. I know you mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Cause I know this whole thing's not easy for you. I know you mad at me, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Cynthia! Cynthia! Yes, ma. Come here. Wait, wait. What is going on? You've not done any house choice. Ma, I'm busy inside the kitchen. You are busy inside the kitchen. And the, here, look at the windows are still closed. By this time of the day. Huh? I'm sorry. All you know how to do is to eat my food. And after that, you're still thin. Get my bag. Okay. Now listen, by the time I return and this place is not tidy, I will skin you alive. I don't know if you know about Kambili. She's nothing like you. You're so, so, so dull. So dull! I hate you! Thank you. Get going! Oh, ah! Jesus, ma! Ah, what is it, ma? Ah! I was sorry. Ah! ah. Well, Ma, what is it? Stand up, please, I Ma. Can't move my neck. <laughs> Ma, Sarah, please help me. Ma, please, please stand up, please. Oh, Where is your phone? Ah. Sorry, Ma. Ah. I missed you. I missed you so much, my love. I missed you more. Oh, I miss you. So, have you have you decided yet? I saw everything. You are seeing Alex. Do you want to hit me? As usual. Go ahead. I'm used to it. I don't want to hit you. Brother. I just want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. I love you, Kambili. And I don't want to lose you. How, how could I? All those times I failed to see that you were a treasure. I'm sorry for my treating you. While I was doing all that, I didn't know I was pushing you to the hands of another man. Please forgive me. 
please, sir. I don't want to lose you. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. I hold nothing against you. I can't do this with you anymore. I do not feel a thing for you. Yes, you've never given me a reason to feel a thing for you, Max. Love is like life. You feel it. You nurture it. You grow it. You preserve it. If you don't do all of these things, it will definitely die. You killed us. It is not my fault. I'm sorry. I've started the divorce process. Yes. Alex is the one handling it. I will not sign the papers. You have to sign the papers. I will not sign the you divorce papers. You have to papers. sign the divorce papers, Max. That is what you owe me. Do me this little favor. You made my life a living hell for two years. You've been, you've been maltreating me, treating me as if I am not human. I did my own part of the agreement. I fulfilled my obligation. It is even over two years. I didn't leave. I made sure I stayed to be certain you have healed properly. How could you be so heartless? At least if you're human enough, you would know that you owe me one thing. And that is my freedom. I deserve love. I do. I've been through a lot in life. I deserve someone who would show me what true love is all about. I deserve a genuine smile. I deserve a man who will pamper me and treat me like a queen. I deserve to make my own decisions. I deserve freedom, Max. And if you can't give it to me, I will. Take it. It's okay. It's okay. Please. I have done everything. Everything. Of my strength. Everything in me, I understand. Look at me. Just take a look at me. I'm a shadow of my, my former self. I, I did everything. Everything to get you back. To right the wrongs. To make you understand that everything I did to you, I regret it. I regret everything. I didn't know what I was doing. While I was maltreating you, Another man was treating you right. I truly don't deserve you anyway. I don't. <sighs> but if you say, if you say you don't love me anymore, if you say you don't, you don't feel a thing for me, like I do, it's fine. I, I will. I will. I will sign the divorce papers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for realizing that I deserve better. Thank you so much. I've been through a lot already. I deserve happiness. Thank you. Family. I love you. 
vida. Every time, goody, goody, do like waiting at open mouth and eat this thing. O open your open your mouth. Oh, bish. Eh? Which guy? Not be me tell you make you first stroke, oh. Not be me, oh. Even for my village, they don't say people eh, where we get this kind of sickness. They they wicked. And you, you wicked. Ah! To someone, you wicked, though. Eh? No worry. By the time I'm done, my missus is going to go By the time I'm done with you, eh, your mind will touch ground. She be me and you for this house. Go see Shaggy. Don't worry. Open mouth or not waste my time. They trap her like that. They open mouth, no waste my no waste my time. No. They open mouth. You will understand. You will understand. I'm sorry. Only if you give me the chance. I'll make you to understand. Thank you so much, Mr. Max. Alex, please take good care of her. I will. I promise you that. <laughs> I can't wait to call you my wife. We agreed I'm going to further my education first. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I give up, you win, okay? I cross my heart. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. Thank you for being amazing. <laughs> Stop flattering me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Um, yes, sir. Thank you for signing. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Mark. I know you're mad at me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive if you let me, I will explain. Maybe you will understand. Everything is gonna be okay. If you give yeah. I would love to explain to you. Just give me the chance. How are you doing, Max? I'm pushing. Missed her so much. Yeah, I know, right? Well, she just got admission into a very good private university. <laughs> oh. You guys still reach out to each other? Of course. She's my friend. <laughs> she's a whole different person now. I mean, she's happy, full of life. You need to see her. She's absolutely beautiful. Ah. I would have done the same for her anyway. But you didn't, darling. Well, there's always someone else for you. You know that, right?
the only other person I ever liked is you. Mm. Oh. Sorry to bust your bubble, darling. <laughs> I'm getting married. Ta -da. <laughs> I just came to give you the good news. Ah, what do you think? This is not beautiful. Like he exhausted himself looking for this. Like, <sighs> come on, say congratulations at least. Max. So, there's a lucky dude out there. I'm the only one that lost out in both ways. Foolishly. <laughs> well, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Come on, chill. I just came to give you the good news. <laughs> yes. It's okay. I. Now I understand why you have not been coming around. Oh, don't be a spoil spot. Come on. Well, I'm happy right now. Nothing can go my word. So, <laughs> I came to give you the good news. And right about now, mm, I'm off to lunch. Enjoy your day. <laughs> and I will keep in touch this time. I promise. Bye, Max. <laughs> lunch date. Thank you. 